Hey guys, Scott here. In this video, we're going to be looking at customizing your WordPress dashboard for your blog. Now, before we get started with this video, by now you should have already gone over the tutorial for how to use WordPress plugins, as we're going to be installing some plugins in this tutorial. I'll briefly mention how to do it, but it's best if you already know how to install plugins. So the first thing you need to do is log into WordPress for your blog. So your site.com forward slash wp-login.php and then just log in. So every time you log into the administration side of WordPress, you're first confronted by the dashboard, which is what you'll see here. And this will come up every time you log in. So if you see this page a lot, you might as well customize it to better suit you and also to show you stuff that's more relevant and what you want to see. So let's just start by looking at how we can move around these different widgets. So the widgets are just the, the block for like each feature, like this one's right now, this one's recent comments, quick press and recent drafts, etc. You can see there's quite a few. So what we're going to do is just move them around. So to move a widget from the dashboard, all you need to do is click and drag the title bar for each widget. So let's say we want to move this right now, widget here, we wanted to move it and replace it where this quick press is. All we'd do is click and drag this top bar here and then just drag it across until it automatically moves the other widgets out of the road. And then you just release. So that's a click and drag with the left mouse button. So let's just move it back now, just click and drag again. You can see how it's got the indented lines of where the widget's going to be placed when you release the mouse button. So you can move that to where you want then just release. So let's say you move the widgets and you can also maximize and minimize each widget separately by clicking the little drop down arrow at the end of the title bar. That'll hide the widget or show it. So you can actually do that for every widget if you wanna stop them from showing and that way you can rearrange all the widgets a lot easier. So now you can still click and drag, but now you don't have to worry about them taking up too much room on the screen when you're trying to move them. So you can see you can move that wherever you want them. And then you just release it where you want. So that's how you move around the widgets on your page. I'll just extend a few of these, not all of them. Now let's say you wanted to remove some. Let's say I didn't want this um, other WordPress news and I didn't want WordPress blog or recent comments. To do this, what we need to do now is click this screen options button here, it's in the top right. Just select that and then a little drop down menu will appear. And here under the show on screen, you can untick which ones, which widgets you do not want to see on your dashboard. So let's say I want to keep that, recent comments, I want to keep that, incoming links, you can remove that, plugins, remove, latest thanks, you can remove, you can remove and show whichever ones you want. Quick press, I'll leave there. Recent drafts, I'll untick. Other WordPress and WordPress blog, I'll remove both those. Now you can see there's no actual save button. That's because every time you tick or untick, one of these boxes automatically changes the page. So you'll see now there's only a few widgets left. So you can manage those easier. So it automatically updates the second you tick or untick. Like the right now one, if I untick that, it's automatically gone instantly. Tick it again, it's back. So that's how you hide and show different widgets from the dashboard. Now the second bit here is just the number of columns. At the moment, there's two. Let's say you wanted three, you could use three columns. Third one's empty at the moment, but you can click and drag once across that you want. So you can see you can drag that across, drag it back. Move it up. However, I like to stick to two columns. I find it easier to manage, but if you want to put more on your dashboard, you can put up to four columns if you want, or even down to one if you want. So once you've got that how you want it, all you need to do is click the screen options again to hide that menu. And then it'll only be showing the ones you've ticked to show. So that's how you hide, show, and move around the different widgets on your dashboard. Now let's look at installing new dashboard widgets. So, what you want to do here is come to plugins, just click the little drop down button for the plugins and click add new. And now in the search box here, I'm going to add dashboard. 
and then click search plugins. So this should bring up pretty much all the plugins that have dashboard as a keyword or a tag for those um, plugins. So you can see the first one's dashboard commander. Now you can use this to give you more customization over your dashboard. So that's one you can look into if you want to customize your dashboard even more. But I'm just going to add a basic dashboard widget like this Google Analytics here. So this says here, Google Analytics dashboard gives you the ability to view your Google Analytics data in your WordPress dashboard. So I, I, I like the idea of that and I want to be able to see just like a quick view of my Google Analytics for my blog every time I log in. So what we're going to do here is click install now for this Google Analytics dashboard. And it says, are you sure you want to install the plugin? Then go OK. You can just look through and find the plugins you want or for the dashboard and install them. And so that installs the plugin. Now you can go return to the plugin installer and look for more dashboard plugins if you want. But let's just look at enabling this one now. Okay, so I've just installed that plugin. I've come back to the dashboard here. And you'll notice that the plugin I just installed isn't being shown on the dashboard. And if I click this screen options again, it won't be here either. That's because we need to activate the plugin first. So the first thing you need to do is once you've installed the plugins is come back down to the plugins again and then just click on plugins so that it lists all your current plugins. And then you need to find the plugins for the dashboard that you installed. In this case, it's this one here, which is Google Analytics dashboard. So now what I want to do is click activate for this plugin. So plugin activated. So now if I come back to the dashboard here, and I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that the Google Analytics dashboard widget has been added to the dashboard. And if I go to the screen options now, you'll see there's an option to disable, hide and show the Google Analytics dashboard widget. So every time you install a widget that's for the dashboard, it will appear in here if it's active. And if, it's, if you deactivate it, it'll no longer be shown in there and it won't be seen on the page here. So let's say I wanted to have this viewed first. So I want to scroll this to the top. So I want to put that there. And you can see it says here, you need to log in and select an account in the options panel. So what you do is just click options panel here. Because at the moment, that's not actually linked to my Analytics account. So you'd have to set that up to link to Google's um, authentication system. So there's two ways you can do this. You can put in your Google Analytics email account and password here and save the password, then log in. If that's the old way. Google actually allows you now to authenticate programs to read your um, Google Analytics, which is what this process here starts. Now, since this is a sample blog, I don't actually have Google Analytics set up to track statistics for the site. But if I did, I'd just start this process and fill out the details and log in to my Google, Google Analytics and set that up. And then every time I log into WordPress for the dashboard, where this section here or this widget is here, this is Google Analytics dashboard, there'd be a like a um, preview and screenshot of my um, Google Analytics stats for this blog. So that's just the Google Analytics dashboard widget, but you can add pretty much any widget you want for the dashboard. And you can find all the different dashboard widgets just by searching the plugins for dashboard. So that's pretty much how you customize your dashboard for WordPress. Ones that I recommend having on your front page are this right now one, as it shows you the content you thing, your posts, your pages, your categories, etc., And it also shows shows you how many comments you have pending, how many are spam, how many approved, and how many are active. So you can see whether you've got some pending that you need to accept. I would recommend setting up a Google Analytics one because that's good to know how your blog's doing with traffic for each month. And the rest you can install whichever ones you like. Just have a look through the plugins. So when you search for dashboard, there'll be a few pages and you can flick through those pages and just read through them and find ones that you think you'd like to have on your dashboard. So that's all for this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube, there'll be a link in the description to the tutorial page here. And also, if you are watching it on YouTube, thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Thanks.